So if we don't cut the sphere at all, we have the full surface area of the sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. So if we make zero cuts, 4 pi r squared. And so now, those are gone. Those are volume, right? So those are no good. So if we cut it once, so cut it once through the center, open it up, you've created two great circles that are now uh, visible. So you still have the full 4 pi r squared, plus you've got uh, two circles, so plus 2 pi r squared. And so now this one, since we cut it once and that was supposed to be a 2, that's gone. So the only answer that makes any sense here, if one of these answers has to be correct, is a D. You could keep going and know that every time you cut it, every time you cut it through the middle, you're exposing two more circles. Um, so that guy's your answer. So I'm going to attempt, I got an apple just in case. Uh, let's see. It would work better with an orange because you could actually cut through the center. The apple was hard to cut through the center. But you don't cut it at all, 4 pi r squared. You cut it once. Oh no, it's falling apart on me. Cut it once, you have those two extra circles. Cut it again, you've got what you had before plus an extra, <laughs> it's not working, plus an extra uh, 2 pi r squared. So these are exposed and those are exposed. So. So you can get it through this through elimination, play with it, cut up an orange if you like, um, but yeah, it makes sense, D's are answer.